Does calorie counting work? How can you get shredded and stay shredded year round? Well, stay true guys, because by the end of today's video, you will gain the answers to those questions and you will also learn a little bit more about flexible dieting. This way, you will know exactly what is going in and what is going out of your body on a daily basis. With that said though guys, I'm Harry Chadwick, this is Action Makes War, and without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So who am I and why should you listen to me? As I said at the start of the video guys, my name is Harry Chadwick and I love fitness. However, I'm pretty sure that's probably not enough. Now I know that's not enough guys. I'm also training to be a personal trainer. Alongside that guys, I also do dedicate a large part of my week diving into fitness, nutrition. That was a bird, a bloody A raggy, a bird has just flew near enough into my window. Alongside that guys, I dedicate a large portion of my week into training and nutrition and I mean diving into the knowledge behind it, getting new knowledge on it and all knowledge as well so that I can do whatever I can to improve your lives through training and nutrition alongside my own. Because of the information I've gained, I've been able to have a transformation in my body I never thought I'd be able to achieve. And now I want to help you guys. And the first step for me is by sharing what I now know about the fitness industry as a whole. First things first guys, the number one diet I have found and I've tried a fair few diets is the flexible diet. Now let's be clear here guys, a diet is defined as your current eating habits. The key here is current, meaning that a diet has phases. Phases come and phases go. What you guys want and what everybody wants is a lifestyle. A lifestyle so that you can adapt your eating and training. A lifestyle of eating where you find it easy to add a bit more weight, lose a bit more weight, maintain your weight and so that you don't have to cut out certain foods in order to you know, achieve fat loss. That straight up isn't healthy for your mind and because eventually you are going to binge eat. The way a flexible diet works is that you are going to be happy eating you know, what you're eating today and tomorrow another year or two down the line and you'll be doing that without even realizing you're making a change to your body's composition and overall health in general. When I think of the word diet, I think back to the times when I used to think that there was good foods and there was bad foods. Good foods would consist of chicken, brown rice and veggies and bad foods would be things like ice cream, cheese and pizza. All of three by the way I absolutely love. They are naughty. Cheese mate. A flexible diet consists of a few things such as calculating your total daily energy expenditure, your TDEE, basically the amount of calories you need on a daily basis to survive or maintain your body weight so to say. Next you have calculating macros in ratio to your composition goals, whether it be adding muscle, maintaining your weight or losing fat. From there the last thing you need to do is track what you eat, making sure you know exactly what is going into your body through food and drink. This way you can keep tabs and track on what exactly it is that you are eating and you'll know exactly when, where and how you need to make the difference to your diet if you have messed up or you're not sure where you are messing up. Now that may sound pretty confusing but luckily guys for you there is a simple way of doing this. On screen now you will see I've got myself a calorie calculator. This is from the Muscle for Life podcast. It's the guy who does it is based in America believe and his name is Mike Matthews he is an absolute wizard when it comes to the fitness industry and I highly recommend checking out his podcast Muscle for Life if you haven't already he absolutely nails it and he's got a few books out as well this calculator is very in-depth it will tell you exactly how many calories you need to be in a surplus you need to be at maintenance and you need to have to achieve fat loss now these aren't exact numbers it's for you to play with give or take a little bit a bit of trial and error with you know your calories in order to see results say you're in a surplus but you're not seeing any sort of gains whatsoever in regards to putting on weight 
and you may up your calories a bit or maybe you're putting on too much weight you may lower them a bit and it's the same sort of principles for fat loss if you're not losing any fat from progress pictures or anything along those lines either increase your cardio or decrease your calories a bit the idea is that these are rough figures it's up for you to go out there and do a bit of trial and error yourself to find exactly where your maintenance levels are as everybody is different for anybody who is completely new to this the idea is you've got macros you want to hit those macros it doesn't matter what food you eat whether you eat a mixed chicken burger and hit your protein carbs and fats compared to you know brown rice and tuna to hit your carbs, proteins and fats. If you're hitting your carbs, carbs, proteins and fats, not going over your daily limit, but actually hitting it, you're going to see results. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend always going for the naughty, the naughty food option, as usually, the naughty food option doesn't really contain the correct vitamins and minerals that your body needs in order to stay healthy, fight disease, and obviously we all know at the moment with, with COVID-19, it's vital to have a strong immune system. Alongside that, you won't actually feel as full and satisfied after your meals if you don't eat, you know, a good amount of whatever it is you're eating. So lower calorie options is usually the best way to go about it. Especially if you're on the call. Guys, let me know down in the comments with a simple yes or no. Have you ever tried out a flexible diet? Let me know. I'd be very intrigued to know. So the reason we are doing a video on flexible dieting today is because asking the community on my Instagram, I found that obviously a lot of people want a bit more help with their diet. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, my handle should be up there. And with that being the case, go and follow me. I'm trying to upload a lot more on my Instagram now in regards to diet and nutrition. I want that to be a main source page for people to come in it. Ask me questions if you ever find you need a bit more information. So as I say guys, go hit me up, go follow me. Don't forget to DM me if you have any questions, queries or sort of problems with your current style of eating or training. So guys, now you know what a flexible diet is and how you can execute a flexible diet. You know you can pretty much eat whatever you like within your macro ranges and calorie ranges. You know that you need to calculate your total daily energy expenditure. And you also know that you need to track your food in order to make sure that you know exactly where you're at within your fat loss or weight gain journey. But what are the benefits to this diet compared to others? Firstly, it's effective. Weight loss and weight gain is all about energy balance. If you are going to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. If you're going to gain weight, you need to be in a calorie surplus. Your total daily energy expenditure is going to tell you what your maintenance levels are. And that is where you can either take calories from that to be in a deficit or add calories to it to be in a surplus. Although quality is important, quantity is more important because simply if you eat over your calorie limits, you're going to gain weight. If you eat under it, you're going to lose weight. See where I'm going with this one, guys. I hope that makes sense. If not, comment down below and I'll try and make another video about this specifically. Secondly, guys, it's flexible. I know I might have blew your mind there because it is in the name of the diet, but it is flexible, meaning you can still enjoy your life. And it's not one of those things where you have to have exactly this, exactly that, exactly then. You know, you can go out and eat out with your friends as so long as you have a rough estimate of how many calories and macros there are. And if you go over it, you can always take for the next day. You can have your cake and you can eat it too, mate. Alongside that, guys, it's been shown that a flexible diet actually leads to less anxiety and more successful weight management due to the social factor of not having to carry around chicken and rice with you whilst your mates all eat out. And lastly, guys, it's sustainable. For myself, I look back at the last few years of my training and nutrition and I think that, you know, I used to put myself on dead restrictive, calorie restrictive plans for say a month or two months and then I'd realise looking back at it, having some perspective, I'd go maybe one or two weeks absolutely killing the diet and then I'd binge. And then I'd diet and then I'd binge and I'd diet, 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 binge and my body composition didn't really make much of a difference, it kind of rather stayed the same. That's because it wasn't sustainable and then binge cycles would happen more often when not. Since I've discovered flexible dieting, I'm able to binge and then get straight back onto the diet and within a few days, you don't even realize you binge. With a flexible diet, I make sure I have cheat meals by fitting it into my daily calories. 
my either taking away from the day or taking away from the day after. I make it fit in, I make it work, and I make the energy balance work as well. And if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. In summary guys, the four steps you need for a successful flexible diet are as follows. Calculate your macros, count your macros, buy your food scale, and track your progress through progress pictures. My fitness pal, making sure you know what you're actually eating. And don't forget, like I said, there is a link down below in the description to the calorie calculator that you can use today to get started either today or tomorrow on your new flexible diet. So guys, now you know everything there is to know about flexible dieting. Two questions at the start of the video consisted of, does calorie counting work? Yes, absolutely it does. If you are eating the right amount of calories, you are going to see success in your weight loss or weight gain program. How can you get shredded and stay shredded? A flexible diet. Guys, it will not happen overnight. I guarantee you that. However, if it happens overnight, it's not healthy. Straight up, it's just not the way that it's supposed to happen. If you are able to successfully stick consistently to a calorie deficit, you are going to lose weight. And, you know, increasing that deficit over the few weeks will your body adjust to the amount of food you're actually eating by either adding more cardio or reducing your caloric intake is going to create a better weight loss journey. Dropping your calories all at once is going to absolutely kill your weight loss journey as after a few weeks you're gonna realize that you have you've hit a plateau and you don't really know where to go from there because you can't up your calories but you're also starving yourself you do way too much cardio and at that point you give up i hope this video helps you guys out like i said at the start if you have any further questions on your flexible diet or what a flexible diet is don't forget to hit me up in these i think they're here in them dms right there you hit on my dms you send me a message all completely off record, discreet, I'll be more than happy to help. Feel free to check out my own videos on screen now. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, I upload videos every single Friday at 6pm. And without further ado guys, I hope you all have an absolutely sick weekend. And until next time, peace.